all right my dear so in this video i will share with you relation between heat as well as heat and temperature difference in case of conduction in case of convection and of course in case of radiation in these three cases, I will share with you the relation between heat and temperature difference. So let's go for it. So what is the dif what, what the relation that is Q in case of conduction? Q is directly proportional to temperature difference, as well as in case of convection, Q is equal to this. All right, let me share with you. In case of conduction, we are having a Fourier law that is Q equal to minus K A D T upon T X. In convection, we are having Newton's law of uh, cooling that is Q equal to H A delta T. But in radiation, we are having Stefan Boltzmann law. Stefan Boltzmann law. According to this law, Q is directly proportional to T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4. That means Q is equal to sigma A T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4. This is known as Boltzmann law, and uh, this these three relations, these three relations are most important. Whenever you are studying about HMT, then you need we, we have to deal always deal with these three uh, these three formula as well as relation. So this is most important, and one more important thing is that this. T, this T are in Kelvin. Always remember that if you're preparing for Kate examination, then you need to understand this, my dear. We have to consider unit of this in Kelvin. Always. One more thing, if you know if the temperature difference is sufficient or higher, much more higher, then we prefer radiation, then conduction or convection process for transport of heat. We use that radiation. I hope you understand this relation concept between conduction, convection, radiation uh, for heat as well as temperature difference. Thanks for watching. See you soon in my next video. Bye-bye.